marketers need to stop using AI to make up keywords out of thin air and write content out the box. There's way better ways you can use things like Claude to boost your SEO in seconds. Okay, straight out the gate, let's use Claude in a way that we can actually do decent keyword research, not made up keyword research. So we can use this to create a regex pattern that we can find really easy and new keywords through our Google Search Console. So this is going to help us almost create a little bit of code we can put into Google Search Console to highlight new ideas for our content or for our web pages. So here's the prompt we're going to use. I need to create a regex pattern for Google Search Console data analysis. Help me build a regular expression that will identify keywords containing question words. How, what, why, when, where, who, which at the beginning of the query. So this is going to find us questions that people are asking that we're maybe ranking for but not getting any traffic for. Then give me a second regex that finds keywords containing price-related terms like cost, price, expensive, cheap, affordable, et cetera, et cetera, actually finding high converting keywords. So we can get Claude to create us these little expressions that then we can take over to Google Search Console and use. So here's the first one, and I'll show you how to use it. And we'll just take that there, copy this regex expression here, and go over to your Google Search Console and go to the performance area. Then add filter and click query. And you want to then select custom regex and put the regex in there. And then when you apply that, you can see it's going to start bringing up all the questions that people ask that our Google Search Console has registered an impression for. So you can see all these lists of questions that actually are getting some impressions, but we're not actually getting any traffic for. So we could easily just go and write content on our website that answers these questions, either adding it to the relevant page because we can select by pages as well that have these questions in, or we can create whole new articles and whole new pages on our website to essentially scoop up this really easy traffic. The other one we can use as well, what did we have? We had the more conversion focused keywords that had cost, price, expensive, cheap, affordable, that sort of stuff in there. So we could put that into this regex, custom regex as well here and see what comes up. Now we've got not just informational keywords, we've actually got high converting keywords. Now you can see all the sort of things people looking for best of cheap, affordable budget, all these sorts of keywords, which are high intent, high conversion. We can go through and make a list of the ones that we could potentially target with new pages, new landing pages on our website for high conversion. Number two is a bit more data analysis. And it's quite a cool one that we can actually, maybe we can use this for another sort of format of keyword research. Let's say you had a SaaS company, an email marketing SaaS company, and you were trying to do keyword research to find sort of high intent conversion based opportunities for your website. Now you could sift through all this data yourself, but we could get Claude to actually go through it and find us the best opportunities to create high converting landing pages for our website. This is a brand new channel. And if you get anything from this video at all, do me a digital handshake, hit the subscribe button and comment with where you are on your journey below. And the easiest way to do that is to export your keyword file from a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs and download it so that then we can take it and put it in to Claude. You can actually add files to Claude. So you can actually upload this keyword file that we just downloaded from SEMrush and put it into Claude and ask it to essentially find you your best opportunities. So we could say like, I have a sheet of keyword research from SEMrush. I want to find easy but high intent keyword opportunities that would lead to conversions for my email marketing SaaS tool. Please can you analyze the file to find best opportunities with low difficulty but buying intent. And you can see here it's gone away and done the analysis of over 10,000 keywords and identified some of the top opportunities that are going to be easiest sort of volume and high intent as well as transactional intent as well to give you feedback on the quickest wins that you can start writing about to get traffic sometimes you might be struggling to even come up with initial thoughts of like what keywords i should be targeting and simply asking claude for a list of keywords that you can target is again not a great option because it might hallucinate so there's something else you can do now i saw this website the other day and the, the owner had just built it and he was doing okay he started to get his first users but he was looking for ways to improve his SEO. And a lot of people were talking about, oh, you need to find your main intent keyword and then write lots of blog content. Now that's fine, but also he's a one man band. He's not got a lot of time and resources to invest heavily in content, which needs such intensive work these days to actually rank for content and then might not even get the clicks because AI is going to steal them. So we can actually take a different approach and we can use Claude for this. And I've got a great prompt here that's um, 
going to help reframe the use cases of your product so that you can find high intent buying keywords and topics for your services. So this is really simple. List 25 specific business scenarios where someone would desperately need your product and would search with buying intent. Now we can take this and say, I can put the product in there. So this is a tool that says there allows you to make put text between your image and your subject or object in there really easily. And it might be quite hard to think of specific use cases where someone might use that. So this is a great prompt that we can start breaking down actually specific business scenarios. And someone in a business scenario that desperately needs something is probably willing to pay. So you can see here, it's going to reframe this, you know, launching sales on Amazon ads for jewelry, you know, it gets really gets the mind thinking in different ways. Pinterest pins, for example, I hadn't even spotted that one for, for home decor, you know, um, it's not actually laid these out great, but like designing annual report covers, you might not even think that, but someone who's designing an annual report cover might not be that skilled at photoshopping stuff together and they just want a quick, easy solution. So I really love this prompt for reframing and finding other ways that you can build conversion based landing pages for your website that sing the praises of your product or service to someone who is looking for that particular solution, or they have a pain, they might not know the solution yet. Now, let's talk about content writing, because a lot of people will say, yeah, you should use Claude for content writing. But I'm always skeptical about just like, using AI text out the box, like it's actually quite easy for a lot of companies to, you know, there's originality AI, there's Quillbot, things like that, that all have these AI content detectors. And although they're not 100% accurate, out the box AI content usually gets flagged pretty quickly. And let's be honest, if you're just pumping this stuff out, it's probably going to hurt your SEO rankings if you're just AI pumping out content on mass. So there's a better way you can use Claude for your content. And I'm a really big fan of this particular prompt. And I'll show you how it works. First, we need to go and grab a transcription from somewhere. So I can grab this transcription from one of my old videos, and I can use that to start writing my content that's not going to be sort of AI generated. It's also going to be filled with loads of original, interesting thoughts and be useful to the reader. So I can pop my transcription in here. And it's really easy to do this. You could grab your phone, use the recorder app on your phone to speak into your thoughts. You could even brain dump your thoughts, get it into a transcription and then use Claude to actually write your content based off your transcription. So you can see this prompt basically please convert my video audio transcript into an seo optimized polished article that sounds like i wrote it myself follow these specific instructions and then it's got all the instructions there about what i want it to do and what it what i want it to not do now i've given it the sort of context and the information and my tone of voice as well the way i speak it's going to be able to write really naturally in my tone as you can see here we're talking about how ai overviews are killing website traffic and it's gone and written it very much in my tone in the exact words i use that i'd imagine let's see if actually i put it into a ai detector tool if it's going to flag it no boom zero percent your text is ai because it's written from my transcript in my own voice rather than just using its own training data and everything else out there online to actually use my personal insights and my voice to write that, which is the best way at the moment I found to write my content with tools like Claude. Okay, next on the agenda is schema markup. You can actually get Claude to write really great schema markup that you can put straight into your website. So you could say, I need to create JSON LD schema for my local business. Uh, please ask me questions to answer in order to give you the information to write the code. And then it's going to go and ask you all the questions it needs for all the information you need to give it to actually then go and write this code. Now, all we have to do is go and answer these questions with easy information. You don't have to structure the data or anything. You just go and answer these questions accurately, and it's going to write the code for you. And boom, now you can see here on the right, if you answer those questions, it's going to go and literally write all this schema markup for you for a local business. And boom, you can just almost take that and put it into your website. If you want to check if it works, because you always need to check that this stuff works, you can go to validator.schema.org and actually put your code snippet in here and run test. And you can see it actually comes up with an error, which brings me on to my next point is fixing technical errors on your website with Claude. So you can actually just, if you have errors like this coming up, or maybe you're in a keyword, a keyword, sorry, an SEO tool like Screaming Frog, and you've got an error you're not sure of, 
just take that error and ask Claude and it's going to be able to guide you as to how to fix it. Or if it's this sort of thing, it's going to actually fix it itself. So you could say, hey, it came up with this validation error and you can put it in there and it's going to actually be able to understand what it's done wrong and re rewrite the code. You can say, you're right, the accessibility feature property isn't valid for restaurant schema. Let me fix that validation error. It's gone and fixed the code there now. So we can rerun that test here and you can see, boom, it's actually working and ready to go. You can see that the schema is valid and works properly, which is an awesome time saver than trying to work out and making syntax errors yourself if you're trying to write the code yourself or use other random tools out there. Claude can do it all. Now I've got endless things I actually do with it. I just want to show you one last one in this video. Um, it's actually an internal linking setup and Claude can basically almost automate your internal linking for you using its research tool as well. So you can add turn on its deep research, add in your website or the link or the page on your website that you want to build internal links to. For example, here's a page on one of my websites that we can put in there. And this is basically, you're asking it to research your website with context of this page and recommend new contextually relevant internal links to your target page. So we'll pop the target page in there just to double double down on it. And it's going to go and crawl your website, find source URLs, suggest anchor text, and even write text to make it fit in naturally in your page. So all you have to do is copy and paste this into your page of content. And you can see an example here of where it's gone and actually created our top internal linking opportunities. And You've got the source URL, you've got the anchor text it wants you to use, you've got the a sentence that you can add into your text really easily, and exactly it's going to tell you where to place the text in your content as well. So you can literally open up these pages on your website, copy and paste this in. It's even got the link already embedded in there, so you're good to go. It's that easy and it really, honestly, if you've just published a new page on a website and you're not and you want to build some internal links to it quickly, this is a great way to do it really quickly using Claude. And of course, if you need any help with this stuff, then that's exactly what I do. I help people rank their websites quicker and better on Google.